in the kitchen now with Lindsay Brooks from Runaway Spoon. Good Hello. morning. Good, Good morning. to see you. Yes. We were just chatting about a really neat thing that you were doing because um, Rachel Monick uh, uh, has been doing it every once in a while. She'll call on a Wednesday and you guys deliver. We need to call before then, but on Wednesday you're having meals. You can pick up or you'll deliver meals to people? Yeah, something that we do every Wednesday. We um, put together two um, full meals ready to go. They're in a heatable container with uh, instructions written on them. They're for two adults and we deliver them to your home where you can pick them up. Um, you have to get on our email list and to do that you got to email me first and say, hey, I want part of that. And we send it out every week by email as far as what we're making. Some people order every week. Some people order just on their anniversary and just when they're having a date night, something special, but it works out really well. Really? And of course, if you need four, I'm sure they can do four. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We do it for two adults right. because it typically right. works well for that, but we can always double that. or Very cool. Or so it's like a real affordable way to have a personal sh fancy chef dinner. Uh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, and if you're somebody that doesn't like to go out to eat, if you're just kind of not necessarily into the restaurant scene, you can stay in your home and have a nice meal. Or if you've got kind of a newborn that has their own meal, but you want to be able to have something nice just for you and your, your spouse. That's so. a nice idea. So yeah. how do people email you? How should they do that? Uh, info at runspoon.com. Okay. Or go to our website, which is runspoon.com, and then there will be a form right in there you can fill out. Very so. cool. Well, we're taking things to the next level on today's show, and who knew a peanut butter and jelly sandwich could be so fancy? So we started the show <laughs> taking that two ordinary tuna salad to a whole other level, um, and this is something that's going to be really fun and different. We're making a homemade rhubarb jam and peanut butter sandwich? Yes. Um, so uh, rhubarb is just starting to come into season and we're all trying to figure out what we can do with it. Mm -hmm. um, I love making jam and I love canning, but sometimes you don't have time for that entire process. So this rhubarb jam is something that you can throw together in a half an hour and it keeps in your fridge for about a week or so. So it's something you make a smaller batch and then use it that week. Very cool. Um, so right off the bat, you're going to have fresh rhubarb. Okay. Um, you're going to put that into a pot. It's okay. about a half a pound or so. Two, I like to do about a half a cup of sugar, but you can play with the amount of sugar if you like it. A lot of sweetness or not quite as much sweetness. Okay. And then we're also going to throw in just a little bit of water and lemon juice. Do you want the juice in there too? Um, not so much? Not so much. Okay. Okay. So if you cut it up and kind of, I cut it up last night and let it sit and the kind of the juices ran out a little bit, but um, a little bit of water, lemon juice and sugar. Okay. And what that's going to do is you're going to bring that to a boil and let it simmer for about 30 minutes or so or until it gets thick to that stage that you want it to be for. For jelly. And I was going to ask, can you use frozen rhubarb? Because I know if it's not coming up in people's gardens, they do sell it in the freezer, or some people might have it frozen from. Absolutely. Yeah. Rhubarb is a really great uh, fruit to be able to freeze because um, you can just pull out what you need when you need it. So let's say, you know, in the middle of winter, you want to make a fresh rhubarb jam. Just, you know, pull it out of the freezer, make this little jam here, and, you know, PBJ sandwich. Thought, and though, before you put it in there? Yes, okay. you're going to want to thaw it. Okay. All right, so let this cook for about how long? Uh, it takes about a half an hour. What's okay. going to happen is you kind of you stir it every so often just to make sure it's not burning. Okay. But the rhubarb breaks down, but it's still very chunky like a compote. Okay. Um, and that's perfect. You don't want it to be pureed and, and really soft. You want those nice, wonderful chunks to go with your sandwich. It almost so. looks like a, a you know an applesauce, a chunky applesauce, but it, it's red. So boy, that is easy. Yep. And then what I normally do when I make a batch of this, it stays in my fridge. And if I'm having some plain yogurt, I'll just take a couple of scoops of this rhubarb on there. Mm. Um, or if you're making French toast in the morning, just a few scoops of this. Um, nice. I normally find ways to use it up within a week before it can go bad. Sure. So. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So our peanut butter, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is now we're doing peanut butter and rhubarb jam sandwich, yes. starts with some nice bread, not the really wimpy stuff. Right. I mean, if you're making it for the kids, maybe they need a little bit softer bread. But for me, I like rustic Italian bread, really full flavor. So you want to get your favorite type of bread out, and you want to go with an organic uh, fresh peanut butter, something that doesn't have the hydrogenated oils in it or the corn syrup into it. So whatever your favorite brand is, or if you're adventurous enough, make it yourself. Um, well, the Bulk Food Shop, we love them. They sponsor our show. They actually they make grind it from fresh. The, oh, I know. Yes, they it's grind wonderful. the peanuts right there. It doesn't get any fresher or more wonderful than that. I'm really into the fresh peanut butter, so... All right, Amy, you're going to assemble one, and I'm going to assemble one. I haven't one. had a peanut butter sandwich in so long, and you it know, smells really good. <laughs> I ate this a couple weeks ago, and I was like, yep, I'm going to have to make this for You know, more the people. funny thing is, is that I used to have a peanut butter jelly sandwich in my lunch, like, every day. And my mom would be, well, actually, my nana, nana, packed my lunch in the morning, my great-grandmother. And she'd be like, are you sure you don't want to try something different? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it's a creature of habit. Do you, you want ham? Do you want melon? Nope. You got to have that peanut butter and jelly. Ooh. But it wasn't quite as fancy as this. Yeah, something a little different. So I normally do about two tablespoons of peanut butter. I'm, I'm one of those people that it's all about the filling. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. the bread's got to be a, a good bread base, but I'm all about uh, getting some good filling in there. So I put down a couple tablespoons of peanut butter, okay. and then I'm going to go ahead and throw on a couple tablespoons of this rhubarb jam. Mm. And like I said, it's, it's going to be chunky. It's more of a chutney style. 
And the color is just gorgeous, isn't uh, it? I, it? It is. And I have to tell you, there is a, um, a restaurant in New York City that that's all they do is they do fancy peanut butter sandwiches and it is slam and jam and busy. I would imagine. Uh, it's, you know, and killer sandwiches. Some of the top chefs in the country are opening, opening all sandwich recipes um, mm -hmm. as an extension of their brand, but taking them to a whole nother level. So yeah. make this and you'll be on trend big time. Simple to do it. Put the piece of bread on top. Cut it on the angle. Yeah, I cut uh, it on an angle. Some people. I was going to say, if you're going to be fancy here, uh -huh. why is that that just cutting a sandwich on the angle all of a sudden is like, oh, it's a little fancier. My and husband always says uh, the dad cut was straight in half yeah. and the mom cuts on an oh, angle. Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. Well, give me the mom cut then. Yeah. Love it. Lindsay, you're going to stick around. Um, we are roasting strawberries, and we're going to make a dessert with roasted strawberries. Absolutely. I've never heard of doing that. Why do that? Uh, it's going to bring out a not lot of natural sweetness to them. It's going to give them just a little bit more of a flavor to it. We're going to stack it up with some mascarpone and some pound cake in there, and it's just a really great mm, summer dessert. Yum. Sounds terrific. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Stay with us.